Seems like the uh For a reason, or maybe somebody forgot to put that screw in. It's actually crooked too. Yeah, see, this needs to come all off. See this? See this screw comes out directly lined up with this little gray pad. This screw's next to it, but it's actually it's coming out at a different angle. It's coming out like up. to drop the camera angle to try to get a little bit straighter of a view and I realized the way that they made it you can't nobody mentions that but you have to you basically have to fly it at this this 30 something degree angle you know um, because if you look right inside you see the ribbon cable for the CADEX camera right there alright now uh, excuse me my hand trying to hold it and so right here say I try to tilt the camera down any more than what it's already at and the ribbon just presses on it um yeah the CADEX camera has a, a flip screen so why wouldn't you just put the camera in upside down because you have Plenty of room up top. There is nothing up top that could bother it. So why not just put the camera in the other way? Update. The Mobila 7 HD I picked up about a week ago. As you guys already know, comes with the drone, the battery, <clears throat> a battery connector for a couple of these uh, high voltage 1S batteries. And then it comes with a couple of things, screwdriver and the OSD menu board. It also includes this little manual, which, following along with it, states that inside the manual, the VTX gives off a 25, a 100, and a 200 uh, milliwatt. Um, somehow, built into mine, there's a... 25, a 200, a 500, and an 800. Um, not too sure how that came to be. Uh, I haven't changed anything in it. Um, the only thing I have done is actually flip the, uh, the camera upside down, so that way now I have that nice little amount of space right there, so I could pretty much just make the camera nice and flush, or I can drop it. So... Let me, uh, let me turn on the control, get the, uh, get the, so, uh, I've also tested these, um, these Crazy Pony 230 milliamp, 3.8 high voltage, 4.35s, and the 300 milliamp, 30 to 60 C, 3.8, high voltage 4.3s and I've also tested two of the 550 milliamp 3.8 high voltage 4.35s um, all of these will work with it um, obviously two at a time when you get to the 500s they're, uh, they're a little bit tight to kind of squeeze in there together um, but it is possible uh, So these two actually do fit. Actually, my uh, my battery is a little puffed out. I knew one of these was going. So, like I said, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but the two of those will fit in there together. And it does work. Um, matter of fact, we'll just power it off that right now. And right we'll go ahead and plug in. Alright, 
So now I'm going to open up the menu with the uh, the smart audio and uh, how you open the smart audio on this. And I just stated on the screen, it's up, left, and pitch forward. And that'll open the menu. So now, once I come down here, I will go to features, VTX. Now, as you can see already, I have my power in 500. Um, in the manual, as I showed you, it only states that it goes 25, 100, and 200. There is no 500 anywhere in there. Um, but the 500 ain't it. There's an 800 as well. So, if you guys can see that. So, yeah. 800, 500, 200, and 25. Um, I just leave mine on 500. Don't know how some people feel about that, but that's just how I leave it anyway. Um... The VTX tramp you can also set, uh, your pit mode and stuff like that. I don't really mess with that too much. Anyway, I also just wanted to show you guys real quick what my uh, what my LSD settings are. Not not in here because obviously it won't work to get to uh, to get to the actual. OSD settings. You need to um, you need to plug in the board for it, the controller board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug real quick. I tucked my uh, I tucked my cable inside here. Well, they tucked the cable inside there, but I left it in there. I kind of think it's a good idea. It's kind of like a, a neat way to keep it protected from just flying into a propeller. So, I will go ahead and plug this in. And <clears throat> go ahead and power it back up. Now, I'm not going to pull out my SD card, but some people may find that it's hard to access the menu with the SD card in if you have auto recording on. That's just because uh, it's it's going to automatically see up in the top right, see the numbers counting up. Yeah, the, the little screen's got the battery voltage and in the way and stuff like that. But right here in the top left, you can see 12, 13, 14, 15. That's because the, uh, the board on the Cadex is actually recording already. But if you actually just hold left for a couple of seconds... See how it's not recording anymore? Now you can go ahead and click the button and access the menu. And I just want to show you guys the settings I'm using. Like that, don't need that. Uh, video, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Wide dynamic on. Camera settings, uh, negative three. Multi-metering, we're going multi. Field of view high. Screen flip on, because I put the camera in upside down so I could mess with that a little bit better. Um, so screen flip is on. I'm in the US, so light frequency, we use 60 hertz over here. Um, and then image effect. I have my saturation at a level 5, uh, my sharpness at a 2, contrast at a 4, and brightness at a 5. Um, I have the same exact settings uh, set up in my, uh, my 115 blade torrent HD with the uh, with the Cadex camera too. As you can see, this is the red one though. This one's the black one. So even though they say it's the same exact camera, I'm not exactly too sure if it is. Um, because like I said, I have uh, two of the same exact cameras with the same exact uh, SD cards in them, same exact settings and I get two different looking flight footages. But other than that, um, I just wanted to show you guys that. I think it's a really cool feature. Um, I think this thing is awesome with the fact that it comes with a, uh, a UFL connector on it. So I just went off Amazon and purchased the Micro Axie 
actually two micro, sorry. Um, and I'm gonna put that on there because this little uh, this little dipole antenna doesn't really do it for me. But other than that, I absolutely am in love with this drone. It flies great. I get absolute great camera footage out of it. Um, and it's, it's actually a, a, a little rocket thing actually screams. Uh, I've been told by a couple people it's, it looks like a little bat flying by. <laughs> um, so that was kind of funny to hear. But it definitely, uh, it's definitely worth its price tag if you get it from the right place. Um, and why I say that is just a, a quick wrap up. Um, Amazon's affiliates. So if you are looking to purchase one of these, um, one of these micro style whoops, uh, some of them you can find right on Amazon. With Amazon, they have the affiliates, and anybody can go on Amazon and start selling stuff. So basically, what they had people do was they had people go and buy tons of products off different companies getting them at super cheap wholesale values and then going on Amazon and jacking the price up you know an extra 50 60 or more dollars for uh, for each item so this right here when this came out this had a price tag of $149 when it came out January 17th uh, now three months later it was hard to even find it on any sites, uh, really, but when I did find it, um, Amazon had it up for like 170 to $220, and some of those were even without receivers, so make sure you do your shopping around, guys, because I actually picked mine up at ReadyMade RC, uh, this had the Receiver already built into it for DSMX because I use the uh, DS6E. Um, so it already came with the receiver already set up. All I had to do was bind it, um, which was actually a little bit of a process too. Make sure you guys comment below if you guys have any uh, any problems trying to bind this up to the DSMX. Um, the other thing I noticed with these, uh, with the regular Mobula 7, they used to give out like four of uh, four of these little batteries and a charger. Uh, with this, they only gave out the one battery, which is okay. But they also used to give out like two or three sets of props. Um, this one only came with this red set that's on it right now, which are kind of like these like hunky dory kind of like I I would assume these kind of thicker, bigger surface area. These are probably more for like the the nice, slow, smooth flying, um, but they did include these too. These ones, which are like a lot, a lot skinnier, a lot more narrow, but they have a, a pretty good pitch angle to them. So these might be more for like uh, speed or racing, if if uh, that was what you're kind of intended on getting this for. Um, for me, it's uh, obviously a Cinewoop for a reason. Um, doesn't mean I'm not going to fly it freestyle, but that video footage will be in the next video, because uh, I'm trying to keep this one short. Um, I didn't want to do the full unboxing, but as I did notice a couple of problems when I was opening mine at first, I had to, uh, I had to pull out the camera and kind of mention that to you guys. But make sure you guys shop around, like I said, because I picked mine up from ReadyMade RC, and mine was a total of... A hundred and fifty nine dollars um, actually no sorry hundred and forty nine dollars and then I paid like an additional eight dollars for shipping but then they have coupons going on right now um, uh, actually I believe it's right until the end of the day because it ends at the end of March so they have coupons going on right now uh, if you spend more than $100, you get $10 off. So I actually paid $149 for this, and I got premium second-day shipping. This was at my house in about three days. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. I'm happy with the build pro uh, 
the build quality on it. And um, if you guys had any doubt in mind that this was not worth the uh, the price on it, um, well, I'm pretty sure I just proved you wrong on that one. So without making this video any longer, guys, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go down and you hit that like button and that subscribe if you guys are interested in any future content. And uh, if you have any questions about any of the gear I'm using or any of the settings, um, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And I will leave a link to, uh, to where I got this one at ReadyMade RC. Unfortunately, uh, two days after I did purchase mine, I looked and they were already sold out. Um, so I'm not too sure if you can get yours right now. Um, but like I said, do do some shopping around. You got get FPV. You got Banggood. You got Rotor Riot. Ready Made RC. I mean, tons tons of places are, uh, are are putting out stuff like this. So make sure you guys do your shopping around. Try to get the best price available. Um, but I thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.